everybody, welcome back to Terraria 1.2.4.1. And we are back in Terraria just because I wanted to do another Terraria playthrough somewhat, I guess, close to when the next update is going to come out, aka Lunar Update, and it's probably not going to come out for a good while. <laughs> But, no problem, not not in any rush to see that update come out anyways. But, I've always wanted to do other playthroughs uh, as uh, different types of characters. Now, I've done a warrior playthrough, like, off camera with somebody else. And then recently, is it snowing? Excuse me? Alright, the snow bottom's way over there, but it's snowing over here for some reason. But, I want to do a ranger playthrough because... It's one of the playthroughs, the only one I haven't done. I, I, did a, I, I did a summoner playthrough. I did one, like, by myself off camera. Then I did one with Ryan in our uh, little co-op series we did of Terraria, which is pretty short. But, I still did I did most of a summoner playthrough. Some, some playing the summoner. I would have did a summoner playthrough and recorded it, but summoner is, like, extremely hard to play. Uh, and then Warrior, yeah, I did that with Jirachi. And a warrior is okay. That was before, like, the warrior got, like, a billion good armors added in. But here we are. We're playing as my character, that bitch. That is his name. Uh, there's no chat log we can put up, so we can't. I can't exactly prove that. But here we are back in Terraria. And uh, hopefully with all the new features added in, we can get pretty far. Uh, and hopefully defeat the Duke Fishron, which I've still never fought yet. He's scary. I've seen a lot of people fight him. Just regular people playing through the game, not like fucking pros like Hero and uh, Yurimir. Or however the fuck you pronounce his name. But, I've been seeing some teasers for the next update of Terraria 1.3, and holy shit, I am hyped for that, dude. Aliens? Come on now. And I saw some like laser machine gun for Ranger class, and I'm like, oh. And then, I, I really like the Summoner class. I like the idea. Ooh, it's a chest. I, I like the idea of the summoner class. It's a very cool idea, very different. To have enemy, ha, to have your own minions fight for you is a very, very awesome and cool thing that they added in to like all the classes. So it's not just three classes, but even more classes. Oh, we got a boomerang. Oh, uh, we probably want to make a bow. So let's do that. How? Where can I place it? Right here. All right, let's make a bow real fast. And then also, you know the shit on my inventory. Why is that even in my inventory? Also, let us make... Hello? No, I don't mean to use the bow right now. So we're not gonna be... What was I even talking about? Something about classes. We're gonna make this. So... Summoner class. Good class. Great class. Interesting class. Very hard class in hard mode. Holy fuck. I, I got... I'm, right now, I still have an off-camera off -camera, like run I'm doing. And I'm doing a summoner. And I got to hard mode, and I'm like, holy shit, this is like extreme, this is like super hardcore mode, this isn't hard mode. Being a summoner is a hard life. And, uh, I, I even use like one magical weapon because it's a lot easier, hold up, let me make a platform here. It's a lot easier having just like one extra weapon to help do some damage, especially in hard mode. I think I use like a poison staff or something like that. But, I've never played as a ranger before. And this should be interesting. I think, actually, no. I started doing a playthrough as a ranger, but I never even, like, got close to finishing it. Do we have a rope? We do have ropes. We will do this, and we'll hop right in. I'm not going to be uh, one of those players that use nothing but uh, their, like, ranged, their weapon of their class. At least in the early game right now. Like, once we get into the farther game, yeah, I'll do that. But right now, since we have this boomerang, might as well get some use out of it before I come full ranger because we don't really have a bigger repertoire of weapons that we can choose from right now we just got a bow until we get like iron bows and stuff like that and actually get some guns going on oh hold up you know what i forgot to do Ooh, okay well i'm gonna do that next well i'm one day away like it's like december 14th i'm recording this we're i'm one day away from it being like the christmas time in terraria so we can get all those presents and shit and I want to do that just because there's a chance we can get the Red Rider, which is a like a rifle of some sort. I hear a duck. It's a rifle, and it's a pretty good rifle for the early game. And that'd just be nice to have. A little bonus if we can get any presents from mobs. But right now we're just looking for chests, I guess, exploring. Maybe going into caves, but I will be doing off-camera things in this series. 
Yeah, I, uh, for example, building. Probably something I'll do off camera. Let's, ooh, vibrant aggle. Oh, that's only melee speed. God damn. I got so hyped right there. I'm like, oh my god, we're about to have that much damage this early on. Blowpipe here is a nice start for a ranged weapon right here. A lot more damage than the bow. Oh, did we even? We didn't even loot all of it. Uh, we got recall potion. That's good. Nice to have mining potions. We're getting a whole load of those. But uh, let's just equip some more items here. I just keep going. All right, so yeah, we can kind of take out a pickaxe. Let's just take out pickaxe to get some seeds right now. Stock up on seeds so we can get a good use. Damn, we're getting a lot of chests early on. Uh, I don't. I hope this is a crimson thing because the Undertaker is stronger than the musket. But I, I won't care either way. Both crimson and the. Uh, Corruption have their own little bonuses, but Crimson is definitely stronger. Ooh. Let's get some use out of our blowpipe, shall we? Okay, bye. I guess we're not getting use out of this blowpipe. Uh, no, just a regular, another regular blowpipe. We will go mining. First, let's just do a little surface exploring. It's about to be nighttime. It's probably, we should probably go underground. <laughs> uh, let's just kill some slimes. I'm gonna use this boomerang to get us some grass. Just get us some grass. Might as well get some mushrooms. Just because we don't have a... No, no, we do have a healing potions. But yeah, we'll use the boomerang. So we don't have to use, like, ammo all the time. I'm coming for you, Cricket. Not Cricket. You're getting wrecked. Fucking Cricket trying to run from me. What is this? Okay, yeah. So we're playing in a medium-sized world. And... I, I like medium-sized world. They're an okay size. Uh, I definitely don't want to play a large world on single player. I think for a large world, I'd... Fuck, am I speaking English? I think for a large world, I would have to have more than two people. And, uh, we're gonna get this cactus. Just so I can make some armor, I think, yeah. Yeah, we can make cactus armor. Uh, ooh, ooh, is this what I think it is? Oh, it's a pyramid, it's a pyramid! Yo, this is like my first pyramid I've ever seen. Like, legit first pyramid I've ever been in. I've never seen one. Because I'm, I'm just extremely unlucky. I don't really play off camera too much. Like, I don't have like 10 Terraria saves that I play. I usually get like halfway through a playthrough and then I stop. <gasps> oh, here we go. This is the truth right here. Oh my god, so much gold. So much gold. Holy shit. That was like two piles of gold right there. Oh my god, we got 18 gold. We cannot die. Alright, this should leave and leave lead into a good cave. Because that's usually what things like these lead into. Yes, we have the Crimson too. This is like the perfect world. This is like the perfect world so far. Pyramid and the Crimson. Crimson harder. Like I said, Crimson's harder, but I definitely prefer it over the Corruption. It's just a little bit fun. Or <gasps> Flying carpet. What's up with this fucking speed bullshit going on here? I'll take the flying carpet, though. Allows the owner to float for a few seconds. Oh my god, such a good start. Let's float right here. Let's just float right here. This is like a shittier version oops, of the hoverboard Omega Banner. All right. This is what I'm going to do. Mock Bonner. 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 Banner. Uh, we're going to recall. Oh, this motherfucker trying to fuck with me, huh? I see you. No, I, I see you, but I can't hit you. Okay. Oh. Let's get some shots in here with the arrow. Oh, that slime's gone. But let's see if we can gather up some armor. Can I not, like... Okay, no, you can't. Okay, there we go. Let's see if we can get some boomerang hits off here. Damn, these vultures are swarming. Holy shit, can I stop hitting the wall? I just keep hitting the walls. Alright, there, there we go. Nice. Nice job. Good job, that bitch. Yo, what the hell is that? Oh, it's the sun. Let's gather up all this cactus, though. But just leave a little stem there. So more cactus will grow if we ever need it in the future. Now, I've, I got a lot a lot better when it comes to building houses in Terraria, because I usually just make fucking regular boxes in Terraria, just like I do in Minecraft. And I've gotten, just like I, in Terraria, i gotten better building in Minecraft, too, because I'm like, hey, maybe I should stop making just fucking generic box houses and actually add some, like, shapes and curves in my houses. And that is what I'm gonna try and do in Terraria. That zombie looked like he got, like, a fucking speed boost for a second there. Did you guys see that? Did you see that? You about to get beat by some blowpipes. Hey, let me blow on this hole with me. Ow, that fucking hurt like a lot. Oh my god. I 
he's dead. He's dead. He's money. Let's kill this slime zombie. Can I just hold it down? No, I can't. You're gonna have to hear me click a lot. You, sh you should be used to it. You should be used to noises. Clicking noises. Do we have any, like, special arrows? No, we just got a bunch. A bunch of these arrows. Alright, I don't want to fight, like, 8 million zombies, though. No, thank you. We need a grappling hook. That would be nice to have. Whoop. Okay. But we, we got this flying carpet. Gotta, 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 gonna help a lot. Definitely gonna help a lot. And uh, we're gonna go for all bosses here. And, ooh, here we go. We're gonna go for all bosses like usual. So I'll try and get a slime statue as soon as I can. Uh, and just get slime, like, out of the way. Fuck off, dude. Get out of here, eyeball. Well, here's a cave right here. Should we take shelter in this cave? Is this, like, a full, full cave? I don't know. Oh, kind of is. I feel like, no, we can't, we can't do anything right now. Like, I don't want to go caving just in case I die in a cave. I want to go back to the home place, but I just, after we, like, explore most of this right side. Let's see if we can find the angler. Because the angler would be nice to find. Oh, shit, let's not get wrecked here. Let's not get wrecked here. Let's wreck them. Bam. All right. Let's see if we can get some more uh, arrows here. I'm actually going to take out the pickaxe. Just because I want to get some, not arrows, uh, seeds. Yeah, you see that juke? Get juke! I can't see, I can't see, it's dark, it's dark. What did I do? Yeah, I forgot about that already. Get out of here! Okay, just gonna do this. Okay, it might be dark. Gamma should be turned up somewhat. Probably not really. Okay, oh, here we go. Here's jungle. Alright, we'll check out this chest. That's all, that's all we're doing. Is this a agile blowpipe? Here we go. Finally, it took three chests full of blowpipes, and we finally got an agile, agile one. Uh, I'm really happy that I actually really wanted a feral uh, vanity set. A feral, feral vanity set. Is it feral? I don't fucking know. Do you have an eye banner? But I am completely okay with getting a magic carpet. This is my first time getting a magic carpet, too. It's the first time for everything. And I have a lot of hours in this game. But yeah, I want to talk about the 1.3 update while we continue moving to the right. Hopefully I won't lose my train of thought. I probably will. Knowing me. But, uh, 1.3. Lunar update. Okay. Red. Red digit slash update he's working on. Cannot wait for it. A lot of items. It's pretty much... <laughs> pretty much the same thing like what happened with the 1.2 update. Big, big, big update. And it's gonna be really, really good. There's gonna be some aliens and stuff like that. And I'm really interested, since we uh, talked about the summoner, summoner armor and stuff like that, like how the summoner is so far. It's gonna be really interesting seeing what they're gonna add to the summoner uh, class. Because they, they're obviously gonna have to add some to the summoner class. New class, they're gonna have to add some to it. And I feel like in this next update, uh, even though the 1.2.4 update was pretty big for Summoner because it added in, like, pretty much the whole, like, chunk of making the Summoner a viable option. Not even really that viable, but making Summoner a more playable option in the early game. Uh, and it's going to be interesting what they add in the next update and make it more viable in hard mode because... <laughs> to make progress as a Summoner in hard mode... You're gonna need like the pygmy staff or, the, uh, yeah, the pygmy staff and the the tiki armor set, which you can only get after you kill Plantera. And like, how do you get to kill Plantera when you're struggling to kill the destroyer as a summoner? And it's just really straight up summoner. I'm not talking about like fucking hybrid summoner, none of that bitch shit. Uh, and I'm, yeah, like I said, I use a magic weapon. Even using a magic weapon, I'm having troubles, troubles, troubles. Troubles. Troubles passing uh, as a summoner. This is just, it's just hard. The, I don't think the armor set that I have, I have the spider armor set. It doesn't give you enough defense. Right now, that is. Oh my god, why do you spawn with such a crappy weapon? I thought the short sword would be fucking people up. But nah, it's, I totally forgot. It's copper short sword. Worst weapon in the game. Oof, oh my god. Oh my god. I gotta sneeze, like, really bad. But yeah, I can't wait what they're seeing to all, what they're gonna add to all classes. And hopefully, 
It's amazing. This first episode might have a little bit of length. Might have some length to it. Uh, it's getting really bright outside. I can't. I can barely see my screen. My window is closed, but holy shit, is it just gonna keep going? It got really bright. Oh my god. This is, this is in real life. This is not in the game. Dude, we found a living room thing. I actually want to make a nature-looking uh, house. Ooh, can we make a nature-looking house? Are they gonna give me what I'm looking for? Are they gonna give me the loom? The living wood loom? They are! <gasps> yes! Oh, we're gonna have a nice looking house this series. Uh, consumes wood, place living wood. That's even, that's great to have too. Okay, so we're gonna make a living wood base. I don't know, if, yeah, we'll probably make it. I think uh, Yuri Mir, uh, he made a living wood base in his like, summoner playthrough he's doing. And uh, it looks really cool, and I think I might go off of that idea, because uh, it just looks very nature-like, and I like it. I like it a lot. I like it, I love it. I'm gonna make my own. And I kinda want some more of it. But let's... Is there anything in here? Uh, not really anything, like, worth actually going all the way in there for. Uh, this drops down to a cave, obviously. Always does. Uh, well, most of the time it does. There's maybe, like, slight chance it won't drop down into an actual other cave. But, like I said, we're gonna go all the way to the right in this episode. And see if we can find the angler. Because I want the angler really badly. I want him. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Can I get a glow sticks, sir? If you so kindly give me glow sticks. Thanks very much, Heart. Heart? Oh, yeah, that's a good list of most of them. Is there anything in there? Zombies, alright. Well, let's take our glow sticks. Yeah, let's take our singular glow stick. Well, no, I have three of them. Let's take one of our glow sticks and let's throw them down there. We're gonna get this iron, we're gonna head back to the surface, explore the rest of the right, and we're gonna end off that episode on that point. On that? Okay, do I have a torch? Yes. Place that torch. Place that torch, boy. Okay, let's go. Head back on up. Okay, this is kind of weird having the magic carpet. I'm not used to like just gravitating in the air. Not this, not this early on, at least. Uh, so something I kind of, kind of, kinda want to make a use out of is uh, the minecart system thing, well, minecart rails. But they're kind of weird in this game. I don't know. Something about them is just weird. Just gotta make a whole straight line, you know, really like that whole thing. And, um, uh, Minecraft Minecarts is better because it's a 3D game and it's a lot easier to, like, maneuver around and make everything look a lot better. In this game, you have to make, like, a straight line. You can go up and down and stuff. Uh, but, I don't really like that. I tried making some use out of it, but it just costs a lot to get, like, from one point in the world to the other. It's more of a weird decoration item I guess. I don't know. It just costs way too many things to get from one side to the other world. Plus you need the mechanic to get the powered rails which is uh, kind of a nuisance just because you gotta go all the way to the dungeon just to have those minecart systems going. Like you can use the minecart system without it. It's just gonna be going really really slow. And uh, I don't know. It's kind of useless transportation when you're going really slow. But, I don't know, you never know. You might need the transportation, because you might not have any speed or have a, a magical flying carpet like I do. And it would just... Here we are. Look at these palm trees. Palm trees are nice. I kind of want to knock them down. You know what I'm going to do? Just in, the fu just in case in the future, we actually use palm trees to build something. Because palm tree stuff is actually really cool looking. I'm just going to place this down. Grow some palm trees. Shit, are you telling me that that motherfucking dude isn't here? The angler isn't here? That's not good. Alright, you can place these things really close. They'll, they'll still grow even if they're really close. Uh, but I'm having trouble to place them, apparently. Come on, right there. You can place that. Okay, right here. Can't place this here? Alright. Well, here we are at that, uh, the sea. Throw that down there. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try and get something from here. But I'm gonna take out our recall potion. 
And uh, we'll pop a shine potion. Pop a shine. Okay, uh. Alright, let's do this. Hoo! See how far we can go. Oh, damn. Damn! We got distance on that. Did you see that? That's some distance. Okay, here we go, here we go. Loot all. Loot all of it if you can. Throw the seeds away. Truck it. Truck it. Is there anything here? No, there's nothing, anything over here. What? Back home. Here we are. For now, we will place this here. And just store our gold. And, uh, pretty much that'll be it for this episode. In our first part of the Ranger playthrough. I think we're, we're kind of a good start. We don't really have too much Ranger-esque items. Well, we got blowpipes. Blowpipes. We got blowpipes. But I'll see you guys next time. Beach ball.